Hello and welcome to Sophistix Beginners Tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to perform a linear analysis and how to superpose your results based on the combinations from the last video. Let's start with the linear analysis. Double click on the task to open it. Here all currently available load cases are listed. You can select which load cases shall be considered for the calculation. The preset is to calculate all load cases. But you can for example just select load case number 2 and 3 to apply to the structure. In the next tab, Groups, you can select which part of the structure will be considered for the calculation. You can for example just apply those load cases to the group number 0, 1 and 2. We will now calculate the task and see what the program is doing. Let's switch from calculation to system visualization. Here we can now display the deflection and results from the separate load cases on the groups we applied them to. We can of course also just visualize the main system. If you want to apply separate load cases to separate groups of your structure, you have to create multiple linear analysis tasks. I will now create a new linear analysis task to apply all load cases to all groups of our structure. I simply choose a new linear analysis task here. I open it up and double check that all my load cases and groups are selected. If I process immediately now and calculate the task, I can come back to system visualization and check my load cases that are now applied to my whole structure. The old results of load case 2 and 3 are overwritten as they have the same number. Let's come back to the linear analysis task. In control parameters, you can adjust specific calculatory parts of the linear analysis task. These settings generally require some background info, so please inform yourself before you change them. You can find additional information about the linear analysis in Help, User Manuals, All Manuals, ASE. This is the module we use in the linear analysis tab. There is a lot of advanced information available. For example, about our T-beam philosophy. Sophistic standard tasks allow you to adjust the text and graphical output. I will show you how to adjust those outputs with this small example. The text output is divided in two parts. You can control the extent of the information for every chapter in its drop-down menus. The output can be increased from no output to extensive output. The graphical output lets you choose from a predefined list of standard graphics. The user-defined option lets you manually align your structure for your graphical output. If the process immediately checkbox is activated, the task will then be calculated as soon as we leave the dialog with OK. Now the calculation window opens up and here you can see ASE and WING which are the two modules used in the linear analysis standard task. The text and graphic output is generated in the calculation process. You can access the output simply by entering the task's report. You find your results listed in the same way as the task tree in Sophistic, as well as the graphics. Once you calculated your single load cases, you are ready to superpose them for the design process. Let's open the superpositioning task with a double click. On the left side, the program displays for which combination it will create which result. You might remember those numbers from your define combination task. As you can see here, we defined which combination will be created for which number. And the superpositioning task takes up the information and creates the results you want to have for the combination. You can of course add and adjust already existing superpositioning commands. Right here you can choose the element type, the result type and the kind of result. Don't forget to apply your changes. If I now leave the command with cancel and right click the command and calculate it, the changes will not be applied. Thanks for the attention and see you in the next video.